we have some new updates on FedCoin, aka the digital dollar. While many governments are progressing their central bank digital currencies or government cryptocurrencies with a centralized database to track and tax every transaction as part of a nefarious cashless society plan and to also integrate a Chinese Communist Party style social credit score system here in the West, we've gotten a number of articles out in the last month or so about updates on new pilot programs, and I'm using air quotes here, public-private partnerships, which I guess are a nicer way of saying the merger of state and corporate interests to make our lives even harder, aka fascism, with large accounting companies like Accenture, retailers, and a number of others working on pilot programs with the Federal Reserve, the U.S. Treasury, and other government agencies on testing and scaling up the digital dollar. So there's going to be at least five different pilot programs testing out digital dollars with Accenture, which is a large accounting firm with an enormous presence here in the Washington, D.C. metro area, one of the largest hiring firms here. Other than Deloitte and Booz Allen Hamilton, Arthur Anderson is not around anymore because they got caught with their pants down with Enron, while these other large accounting firms help the government pretty much do whatever they want in terms of accounting fraud. So this summer, all these new pilot programs are going to be launched. Now, Bitcoin and these other cryptocurrencies are still going to be allowed to rise, but what you're seeing is new tax laws coming out and new crackdowns, whether that's the U.S. or China and other countries. But once these central bank digital currencies are scaled up, and it looks like they're at least two to five years away, some people think longer, some people think shorter, I think it's probably more than two years and probably five years or less, where I think people have a chance to buy crypto, if they think it's cheap, make a trade, make some profits and cash out with an eye on the exit before governments either tax it to death or ban it. And that's why I've warned for years that if you have an enormous amount of your net worth in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency and you live here in a Western country like the United States or others, you probably need at least two or three other passports because the government retroactively ex post facto, which means after the fact, can make you a criminal for owning Bitcoin and cryptocurrency because you are threatening the government's monopoly on currency creation. A private currency is not something historically that governments like. And normally they tax it to death, fight it, or label you a criminal. So if you want to read more about this, there'll be two articles attached in the information and description section that have come out in the last month or so about these pilot programs these public-private partnerships with Accenture and other companies working on scaling up a digital dollar, aka FedCoin, a government cryptocurrency with a centralized database to track and tax every transaction even more than it already is now. Finally, if you like content like this and want to help keep it free, please chip in $5 a month for my Patreon. There is over 150 articles, charts, and audio podcasts behind the paywall, including seven new articles out in the last three and a half to four weeks. It's a lot. I've been feeling a little bit better with my health problems, so hopefully I'll be able to keep cranking out some content if my health continues to either state these levels or improve. Thankfully, things are getting a little bit better as I've been investing in more exercise equipment here at home so I can get more workouts in. But if you want to chip in, I think it's one of the best deals out there for only $5 a month. You'll help keep content like this free. And small independent content creators like me who are being censored to death so their YouTube channels can't grow, they can't add new subscribers. I do not make a living from Google AdWords revenues running those ads on any of my YouTube videos. I wouldn't be able to pay any of my bills without my patrons. So if you want to help chip in and help keep content like this free, that would be much appreciated. And there is an enormous amount of more in-depth content behind the paywall over on my Patreon. And if you don't like the content behind the paywall on Patreon, you can always cancel. So I think it is one of the best deals out there for only five bucks a month. It's the cost of a bad cup of coffee, and you are going to learn a lot about investing in the economy, a lot more in-depth than I can share for these free videos.